Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is Go Again, a fabulous video cast covering the trading card game Flesh and Blood. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hey Fab folks, welcome back to Dice Commando for another How Fab Stuff Works episode. Today we're going to be covering Arc Light Sentinel, which is Prism's expensive but effective combo disruption tool. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. So today I wanted to talk about Arclight Sentinel. We'll actually go through kind of kind of the actual rulings on that. And then what I want to do is kind of talk about a bunch of scenarios. Now, the reason I'm specifically talking about this this week is that there's been some, some questions come up basically on, you know, how it works um, exactly. So let's look at the card. We'll go look at the, you know, the actual rulings on it. And then we'll talk some situations. So Arclight Sentinel is a six drop, six drop light illusionist instant aura. It is a prism spec. It says, if it's in the arena when an opponent announces an attack, right? If it's in the arena when an opponent announces an attack, very important, they must choose Arclight Sentinel as the target of the attack. And it has Spectra, which means it can be attacked. And when it becomes the target of attack, destroy it and close the combat chain. Okay, so there's there's a lot of uh, kind of nuanced, nuanced parts of that. So let's actually go to, to the release notes, which I'm showing up right now. So it goes through the card itself, and then it says defense. Uh, let's, you know, I'll, I'll put this up. We won't, we won't go through everything, but there's a couple, couple, uh, you know, major hitters here, right? The turn player always has priority first and can start the turn playing a card, assuming they're legally able to, right? So you, of course, get priority in you, to play an instant. You have to have priority, right? And you don't get priority just because they start their turn, right? They have to do something. That's that's what this is saying, right? So if they swing with Dawnblade and you respond, right? Dawnblade still attacks you, right? That's just 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 a simple example. If and it because of this next part, right? If an attack is already announced and attacking, playing Art Like Sentinel does not redirect the attack to Art Like Sentinel, right? And that's very specifically because I'll toggle off just a second, put it back up, right? It says if Art Like Sentinel is in the arena when an opponent announces an attack, they must choose it, right? And the way this works is they would declare the attack, then you would get priority. Right, so the attack's already declared by the time that you get your priority window, right? So again, if the attack's already announced, it doesn't redirect, you could still play it, but it would sit in for, for the next attack, not that current attack. And then uh, if there are multiple, okay, Sentinel, you can choose when to attack. Uh, and then it says, this includes all attacks, including weapons attack and attack action cards, right? So. You know, Bolton players out there, if you have a Raiden, you can swing Raiden for zero at this and pop it. You can, right? So as you can on some of the other stuff. Uh, as long as this is in the arena before the attack is announced, right? So one of the things I'll go ahead and put, so what one of the cards I'm showing right now is, is Vexing Malice, right? So this, this one uh, actually came up in the Facebook kind of as a rules question about it. So assuming, of course, that Arc Like Sentinel, Arc Like Sentinel is in the arena, before your opponent plays Vexing Malice on you, Vexing Malice would target uh, Arc Light Sentinel, and then it would basically, right? So the, the question here is, okay, I understand that the three attack goes to, towards Arc Light Sentinel. But what happens to the arcane damage? The answer here is very simple. Well, it's not very simple because that's what we're talking about, right? But, but, it, but it's very clear what happens. Basically, the attack fizzles, right? So the the target of the three becomes the sentinel the arcane damage just goes in it goes into nothing space it goes in nothing space right because arc light sentinel if again if it was in before they and before they played uh vexing malice the whole thing would just fizzle and it would go go into the the ether right i think that's i think that's a fab term right so all right great so with that said you know another question asks is okay well if i can't respond to someone's attack what what good is this uh, this card's actually very, very good for doing combo disruption. 
but you have to you have to play it right around your your windows. So what I wanted to do today is uh, just go through just a couple examples and hopefully hopefully too many examples, right? Hopefully it's clear. So what I'm showing right now is a, a example on on Warrior, right? One of the cards that starts many of the Warrior combos is arc like or excuse me is Courage of Bladehold, right? So what you might want to do in this case. They pop their courage. Okay, it's gone forever. They're ready to start their combo turn. They play Illumina. And in response to them playing Illumina, you drop the Arc Light Sentinel. That Centauri Saber has to go target that Sentinel and it closes the chain. So they are, right? I have that sad face there, your opponent. It's very, very sad. They lost their courage. They play their cards and they popped your Sentinel. Now, you probably, to pay six, had to dump your hand. But in many cases, that's a fair trade because you you made them lose a lot of combo pieces that maybe they were even setting up for. All right in this next case, another another warrior type example, Iron Song Determination. Right, so this would be a Dorinthia deck. Right, Iron Song into Warrior's Valor. Boom, you pop that disrupt. They have that front pump go again, dominate right into Arclay Sentinel. Right, so they paid for it. They spent their cards, and it basically fizzles. Another one in the mirror match. Right, very again. So, Hopefully this is all, all pretty clear, but in the mirror match, right, you may see a, a Dreamweavers play. Uh, you know, Dreamweavers into Phantasmify into something nasty. You play it after Phantasmify, and they have to target you, right? Sad opponent. And in this, I believe this is the last example, but uh, I actually did my Azalea tier here, right? So, you know, an Azalea example. If, if Azalea does the Ridge Rider thing, you can insert, or I should say, you know, I'm using a, Ridge Rider here just to, you know, show the opt and dominate and all that. But after Azalea does the dominate, puts it on top, you can throw Arc Light Sentinel out, and then they would have to burn the attack, right? In many cases, uh, especially with like a dominate, they front pumped it, they've put in resources, they've done things to make that happen. You can throw Arc Light Sentinel out uh, after the dominate. Now, to be clear here, and, and in all of these cases, they don't have to attack it. But if they don't, then what do they do? Just pass and then try and attack it later, right? I mean, they're they're going to throw at it because they've already put the resources in and they're going to lose them anyway. So, I mean, nine times out of 10, they're going to attack since they've already spent the resources to front pump or whatever or get the combo going because they have to pop it so they don't have to worry about it in the future, right? So generally works out works out for you. Now, now again, it is it is very expensive, right? There's no secret there. A lot of time with Prism, you are, you are primarily playing yellow pitches for obvious reasons with Luminaris. So yeah, in many cases you're going to, because remember you'll, you will have just drawn up in many cases you will have, um, you know, busted your turn as well, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a great play to try and, you know, like the cards you like to use it on, or, you know, you would want to use it on are even at a, at a basic level, they pop their heart and cross strap, pop a Goliath gauntlets. So, you know, something, something to that effect, or, you know, with warrior, they do like courage is the, you know, courage is probably the fundamental one, but, you know, singing steel blade, or not singing steel blade, uh, steel blade supremacy, right? So one you want to drop, uh, iron song determination is when you want to think about dropping it on. Um, but remember you get a window after each card, right? And most of the time, like on Dorinthia, if they do an iron song, they're also going to try and do something that lets it get go again many of the times. So you can try and time that. Now, if you think maybe they have something like a, like a glint or something, maybe you have to, you know, be more careful there. But and I also forgot to mention, I even had it in the graphic, right? Seeds of Agony. This this card is this card's pretty brutal for chain uh, for a couple of reasons, right? You, if you play it at the right time after like a seeds or something, you can you can shut that down, right? The next attack has to go target it, and you know if he's on one of his big big combo turns, you could potentially force him to because it shuts the chain down. You potentially force him to leave a bunch of cards in the drink, and he actually takes damage from that, right? So not 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 a bad deal. Definitely <laughs> definitely definitely works against chain as well as as many other cases, right? I, no, we haven't covered every single case here, but the you know the idea here was just to set some examples in the cases that, that you can use it very effectively. Again, that that's fundamentally how this card. That's so we've covered how the card we've covered the card we've covered how the rules actually work and we've gone through some scenarios of how you might actually want want to use it. So very very good card in the right scenario if you know how to play it, and that that should wrap us up today. So thanks for joining me. If nothing else, folks, go commando.